Imagine a computer that fits in the palm of your hand, but rivals the power of a desktop tower twice its size. We all saw what happened at the end of 2024. Apple dropped a bomb on the tech world with a redesigned Mac Mini M4. It was smaller, faster, and frankly, the best value computer on the planet. But if you thought that was the peak, you need to buckle up. We are looking ahead to 2026, and the leaks are already pouring in for the next generation. The Mac Mini M5 and M5 Pro are coming, and they are promising to take that best value title and smash it. Today, we are going to break down every single detail we know, from the performance jumps and the controversial design choices to the release date and the price tag. If you're thinking about upgrading or buying your first Mac, you cannot afford to miss this update. Let's set the stage by looking at where we stand right now. The current Mac Mini M4 is a tiny powerhouse. It was the first time in nearly 15 years that Apple actually changed the way the Mini looks. They shrank it down, packed it with a 10-core CPU and a 10-core GPU, and gave us 16 gigabytes of RAM as the new standard. It was a massive win for consumers. You could pick one up for $599 at launch, and now, a year later, you can often find them for $499 or even less. It is, without a doubt, one of the best machines I have ever used. But technology never sleeps. And the question on everyone's mind is, how does Apple top this? What changes for the next generation? First, let's address the elephant in the room, the design. If you are hoping for another radical new look in 2026, I have some bad news for you. It took Apple almost a decade and a half to update the last design. History tells us that for the M5 and M5 Pro, the chassis is going to stay exactly the same. That tiny footprint you love is staying. But this also means the controversial features are staying too. You know that power button located on the bottom of the device that drives everyone crazy? Yeah, that is not going anywhere. For the 2026 refresh, you will still have to reach underneath the unit to turn it on. While some might find that annoying, the overall aesthetic is still sleek, modern, and fits on any desk. The real magic, however, isn't on the outside. It is happening underneath the hood. This is where things get exciting. Let's talk about the M5 chip. The good news is that we aren't flying blind here. We have seen the architecture of the M5 in other high-end Apple devices like the Vision Pro Update and the latest iPad Pros. Based on what we know, the CPU performance is getting a solid bump. We are looking at roughly a 10% to 15% increase in raw processing power compared to the M4. It still uses a similar layout with six efficiency cores and four performance cores. Now, 15% might not sound like a game changer on paper, especially since the M4 was already a screamer, but in day-to-day -day tasks, that extra headroom makes everything feel just that much snappier. But here is where the M5 is going to leave the M4 in the dust, the graphics performance. The leaks suggest a massive leap in the GPU department. We're talking about the M5 graphics being up to 45% faster than the previous generation. It is still a 10-core GPU setup, but the cores themselves are far more advanced. They are incorporating new AI enhancers and architecture tweaks similar to what we see in the A19 Pro mobile chips. This means for video editing, rendering, and even gaming, the M5 Mac Mini is going to punch way above its weight class. If you rely on graphics power, this upgrade alone is worth the wait. Now, for the power users out there, let's talk about the M5 Pro. This is for the people who need a workstation that can handle heavy 3D modeling or massive code compiles. We are expecting two distinct versions of the M5 Pro chip. The binned or base version will likely come with a 14-core CPU, featuring four efficiency cores and 10 performance cores. But if you spend the extra cash for the unbinned version, you get a beastly 16-core CPU with 12 dedicated performance cores. In a chassis this small, that kind of multi-core performance is absolutely wild. It turns the Mac Mini from a home computer into a legitimate studio machine. Of course, performance is nothing without memory and storage. This is where Apple usually gets a little stingy. For the RAM, don't expect any major shifts. We will likely see the same configuration options, 16, 24, or 32 gigabytes for T. He's standard M5. 
If you go for the Pro, you start at 24 gigabytes and can spec it up to 64 gigabytes. It works and it's fast, so no complaints there. The storage, however, is a different story. The current baseline is 256 gigabytes. In a world of 4K video and massive applications that fills up instantly, there is a rumor, a glimmer of hope, that Apple might finally push the base storage to 512 gigabytes. With the introduction of Apple Intelligence and larger OS updates, 256 gigabytes just doesn't cut it anymore. If they make this change, it would arguably be the biggest value upgrade of the entire release. Speaking of value and getting things for free, I have something huge to announce for this community. I am doing an international channel giveaway. I am giving away a brand new iPhone 17 Pro Max to one lucky subscriber in mid-January 2026. This isn't just any iPhone. It's the version with a physical SIM card slot. So it works for winners in every country, regardless of your carrier's eSIM rules. I want to make sure anyone watching this video has a fair shot. To enter, it is super simple. First, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Second, head down to the comments right now and tell me, what is the one piece of tech gear you're planning to buy before the end of 2026? Drop that in the comments. Keep your eyes peeled for a video in January where I'll drop the final entry form and announce the live stream date for the winner. Good luck. Getting back to the Mac Mini, let's answer the two most important questions. When can you buy it? And how much will it hurt your wallet? According to the latest roadmap leaks, Apple is targeting WWDC 2026 for the big reveal. That means we should see the official announcement in the first full week of June. Usually, pre-orders go live immediately and the units start shipping about a week later. So, if you're planning your upgrade cycle, mark your calendars for mid-June 2026. As for the price, the news is surprisingly good. Despite the massive jump in GPU performance and the newer silicon, Apple is expected to hold the line on pricing. The base model M5 Mac Mini should launch at that sweet spot of $599. If you're eyeing the M5 Pro model, the starting price is likely to remain at $1,399. Considering the inflation in the tech market and the performance you are getting, staying at these price points keeps the Mac Mini as the undisputed king of value in the Apple ecosystem. So, is the Mac Mini M5 worth waiting for? In my opinion, absolutely. While the design remains static, the 45% boost in graphics performance and the potential for double the base storage make this a significant upgrade over the M4. It refines everything that was great about the 2024 redesign and injects it with enough power to last you for years. It is the perfect machine for creators, students, and anyone who wants a clean, powerful desk setup without spending thousands of dollars. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the future of the Mac, please help the channel out. Smash that like button. It really helps the video spread to more people. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, share this video with your tech-loving friends, and ring that bell icon so you never miss an update on the latest Apple leaks, reviews, and comparisons. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.